screen's messed up and I have to constantly click it to get anything to go off of it. I don't know what's wrong with it. I thought my camera was off. Okay, I got in the shower. I got out. You could tell I didn't know what was going on. And that was all. I never knew anything. Okay, I went days without knowing anything. And then she made this tell, and then all kinds of stuff, you know, the days went on, you know, and I didn't know nothing about it. And then one day I'm, uh, I get up, I don't know what time of the morning it was, but I wake up and I always check TikTok. It's just the thing for me. I sit up, I cover up my legs because I was in shorts. I was cold. I sat up, didn't even hit the floor and I found her on live and she was talking about it and I'm like, what's going on? And she's like, I need to talk to you off, off the app. And she's because I kept hearing my name being mentioned. And I was like, what's going on? She's like, I got to talk to you off the app. She ended the live. She called me. She said, okay, Anna, I got to tell you something. And I'm like, okay. She said, remember the other day you took a shower and I was on the, on the phone? And I'm like, yeah. She said, well, I took a screenshot of you because I thought it was pretty sexy. She said, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. I know it's wrong. She said, but I did. I thought it was sexy. She said, can you please go on live and lie for me and say that I sent it to you to clear my name? And if this, this, and, and I was, and I've, and I've, I've always supported Danny. I've lied for Danny more than just this time. I've lied for Danny a lot because I felt bad for her because she was all the time on Reddit. And I felt bad for her. She was my best friend, I thought, in the world. And I thought I could trust her. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm believing you. I don't understand why you're on Reddit. And I'm falling for her stupid ass schemes. And so I do it. I'm like, yeah, I sent it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to send you no more. Blah, blah, blah. And I, I've never sent her no pictures. I swear on everybody I love. I cannot, I cannot get this truth out enough. I can't get people to believe me enough. I did not send her nothing. I'm not yeah, like I that. Don't have any questions that I haven't heard one person say that at all. I really don't. I think you can let that worry go. Yeah, I don't but it can't, it's doing. all over the internet. It's 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 people are talking about it. I can't get away from it. Everywhere I turn, I can't get over this. I can't. Uh, my brother is an investigator. I can push this, but and if it keeps going around the internet, like people keep talking about it and stuff, I'm gonna have to do something. My name has to be gone. I can't take it anymore. I swear on everybody I love, on my wife going to heaven. I did not send her that picture. Okay, that's pretty serious. Think, yeah, I and I think anybody's saying that at all. Yeah, and first of all, I want to say even if that picture was sent by you you willingly took that picture you knew it was happening you sent it to her and it still leaked that's still a charge against her okay i want to make that clear so even if you did send it i mean it's 2024 we send pictures that's what we do but <laughs> even if you did accusing you of that at all just saying even if um, yeah. and and it, it, it's it's all over everything and she's trying to make me look like the bad person and i'm so sick of it I've, i i'm still awake i can't sleep because i'm wondering where my freaking picture's at who's seeing it and then i'm worried about well what's danny's what kind of lies is she going to come up with to try to get me in trouble i have got the original you can plainly see that was a screenshot that i didn't know was taken yeah, no, I mean, I saw obviously like the edited version. I didn't see anything, but I saw like the actual. I thought the I mean, actual picture. Yeah, I mean, rolls and all. You can tell that it wasn't taken by you, and I, I mean, you could tell. You can tell. So I don't think anybody's thinking that either. I think more people are on your side than you think. I yeah, I, I'm afraid to go. I'm afraid to go public on my live because I know I'm gonna get slammed and bashed, and I didn't do anything. I swear, I could sit here and cry. I, I, I'm tired of explaining myself. You people, I'm, I'm tired of explaining myself. I didn't send this to nobody. No, and and I'm violated, and my privacy's gone. My trust in people have is shot. I don't trust anybody. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think I would after that situation either. And people can, you know, people come in my life and they're sweet and they're nice, but do I trust them? I'm scared.
Yeah, and that's understandable. And I know you say, like, you know, if your name doesn't get cleared and everything, like, you're going to have to, you know, take this to the next extent. I'm going to encourage you to do that either way. Even if everybody forgets about this and nobody's talking about it anymore, for your peace, your sanity, and not only that, but nobody should get away with that. Nobody. (laughs) Think about it. If she's doing that to you, who else could she do that to? Genuinely. So like, I'm like I, I don't mean I don't mean to cry. I don't. No, you're fine. But I mean, it, that is my big fat ugly body all over for everybody to make fun of me, for everybody to only God knows what with that picture. I. <laughs> I I think a lot of people are protecting you with that picture, though. Genuinely, absolutely. Um, again, I've only seen like you know, stuff over it. I haven't seen like the full picture. I'm not asking to, I don't want to, I don't care to, it's not my business. But I'm just saying, I think, I didn't even know anything was going, like I had no idea this was even happening. I don't even know when this took place. Literally this was all brought to my life tonight. And I was like, what is going on? Because I read a comment last night that was in regards to like, of course, Allie would support a predator and my name and predator should not belong in the same sentence that within itself. So this is a form of essay. Oh, a hundred percent. We said that. Absolutely. And I just, um, um, I'm violent. I, 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 I'm out of words to say, like, this is, I've never ever, ever been through something like this before. This is sickening. It oh, is. absolutely. A hundred percent. And I heard, I don't know how true it is, but I heard it's also on YouTube. Now, I don't know how true that is, but I mean, my picture's starting to get out there, out there. I don't think, again, I don't know. I don't really look on YouTube. I can research and see if I can find it on there or something, but i pretty sure YouTube would not allow images like that well the blur it's blurred out on reddit like it's blurred out and it's got a sunflower on it and i mean but I, i've got the original and you can plainly tell that there is a you know how like on facetime like on messenger facetime you've got your big picture then you got your tiny picture up in the square yeah up in the top that's exactly you can tell that's a facetime picture taken and yes, I used to joke around with Danny and be all like flirting, but I, it was all in jokes. It was never in seriousness. And I don't, I can't stress that enough to you guys. Yes, I was her friend and you know, we were all. You need to, Anna. I think you feel defensive when you don't need to. You should feel really empowered by the support you've got. Everybody, I have not seen one person do anything, say anything that was uh, anything other than support at you. You know what I mean? So yeah, like she's sending feels- these videos to she's sending these live videos that's been screen recorded to Gabby, and it's it's screen recordings of me just being up there lying for her, like she told me to do. So yeah. now it's Gabby believes it. Well, I don't think that's much of a shock no. right there. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say, and I don't well, think yeah, that's don't anything think to that, worry. About. I don't think we should even take into account that (laughs) but again don't justify like yeah i was her friend yeah i would jokingly flirt around with or anything like that because none of that matters your picture was leaked that is the issue at hand the fact that your picture was leaked like i was scared to get on i was behind the scenes listening to you guys and i was scared to come in because y'all once upon a time didn't care too much for me and I never knew you, honestly. I never said anything about you, to be honest. But I never knew nothing about Reddit. I knew nothing about Discord. I knew nothing about getting bullied on any kind of app. I knew nothing about getting hate on any kind of app till I hung out, till I started being friends with Danny. That's when I was so overwhelmed with new things that I'm not even used to. People talking about me. I'm not used to people talking about me because I'm not the type of person that people talk about because I'm such a good person. And I pat myself on the back for that. So I'm not used to being talked about on apps. And then all of a sudden I see it when I start hanging with her. That's when I should have been like, hey, something's not right. You know, if this girl's all over Reddit, there's a reason. Yeah. And most of the time that can be the case, but not every time. A little bit ago, I was all over Reddit, and I still, to this point, do not feel like that deserved all that. (laughs) But 
to that extent, yeah, I agree. And again, like, I know you say, like, somebody in your family is an investigator or something, like, I don't know, yeah, you need to handle obviously, like, your financial situation or anything like that, but I, I would encourage you definitely to look into hiring an attorney. What, mom of four? Huh? Sorry. But Gabby did yell at Danny and tell her that it's sick. Mama Four said Gabby's streaming it in Danny's live. I didn't know what she was talking about. Well, somebody, no, somebody's streaming this live and for, oh, oh, oh. for Danny. I don't know if it's Danny's stream. I'm not sure. Somebody's streaming it over there, which is fine because we're doing the same. Gabby said that it was sick. Gabby saying Anna's lying. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think. I don't think anybody really thinks that, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe a select. Few. I have. I have more people on my side than they have. You do. And you need to really, and yeah. I, I'm overwhelmed. I'm about. overwhelmed with all the positive things that I'm getting because I've done talk to a person, and if I want to push it, I can. I do it honestly honestly and I know like you may not want to go through that trouble and I know like you really cared for Danny and you know you were really good friends with her but family or not friends or not no matter the case like nobody deserves to should get away with that don't don't even think about yourself in this situation because I can sense that you are like a selfless person so don't even think about yourself in this situation. Think about the people in the future this could happen to. Anna, they want to know if uh, they said, can we ask what the investigator's opinion was about the situation? The one that I talked to? Yeah. I can't say. They told me not to say anything. Yeah, that's what I was going to get up here and, and, and say to you. I don't want to be bossy or anything, but you really don't need to be talking about it anymore on live. You just need to go, go through with pressing charges on her and her sister because she received the pictures from her sister also. So she's involved now. Just you need to stay on the down low about it and just handle it through the police station and whoever that was you said you went and seen. Just keep it on the down low. Don't say no more about it, okay? I don't yeah. want to be bossy. I know. I'm just trying to help you out. I and understand. I wasn't going to say, say I wasn't going to say anything. Okay. okay, call the police. I dare yeah. you. Yeah. No, yeah. no, Allie. No, Allie. Okay. Let me talk. I fucking okay. dare you, Anna. First, Go ahead. Like guess what? No, because guess what? You're going to look like a fucking fool because I don't have no damn fucking pictures. So if you guys want to fucking fight this fight, let's go Call if them. you ain't got no pictures you're good, good. Hey, hold on and i don't have the fucking pictures but you know if what? you don't have it then you're good you didn't take the picture i mean but, but anna you're gonna listen to somebody why don't you come talk to me but if you want to call the police and have and, and press charges I dare you, because I will be waiting for the front door, handcuff me, search my phone. I don't give a rat's ass. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, matter if you delete it, it. they could still find it, Gabby. Yeah, she's charges on your sister. I she have never said anything about it. No, I don't want to press charges on you, Gabby. Gabby, I had to mute you because you're echoing and you're not listening. If you want to come up here, please drop and come back up here so you're not echoing i don't plan on gabby you've done nothing you didn't take my picture why would i do anything to you mom of two boys then would you please tell them to shut the fuck up but how dare you mom of two boy how fucking dare you you have no proof so you sit there and you shut your fucking damn mouth you need to shut up you need to take care of your life I have the right we to seen you on the live yesterday you? looking at your Daddy. phone. Everybody's, Everybody's echoing, echoing off, off of you. you. Can you please? Can you, you please drop, drop and come back? The echo is driving me at freaking nuts. Everybody's echoing uh, off of you. Uh, no, I'm ready to fucking go insane. I'm ready to fucking <laughs> scream to the damn fucking roof. And that's fine, but can you drop and come back first? Okay, cool. <laughs> Just go do what you need to do, Anna. 
Don't let these. Nobody said that I was going to. I didn't say that I was going to press charges on Gabby. Gabby didn't take my picture. You did not say that. You didn't threaten it. No, I don't didn't. Let talk, don't let her talking to you like that affect you. I'm sorry. And I just wanted if, to try to help. The fact of is, if she received the picture, it's if she received it or didn't, that's not her fault. I mean, it's I receive pictures from people that I don't want to fucking see. Yeah, if 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 Gabby received it, like Danny sent it to Gabby, Gabby can't help her. Gabby can't help that Danny sent her that, and you know, unless she asked for it. But if she just sent it to her, then Gabby can't help it that Gabby's, you know, she she's innocent. She can't help that Danny sent her that. And at the end of the day, Gabby didn't take an uncons uh, an unconsensual picture of me. Danny did. And I don't. So I don't Gabby wouldn't even be the one in trouble. Been, yeah, she shouldn't have come in here and acted like that. So she really owes you an apology, and I don't think it's something you have to worry about. Does anybody know what type of attorney you would get for a situation like that? I don't know. Somebody said in the chat, like, do you even need an attorney? Because won't the prosecutor? I, I would. I would mm -hmm. always go the route with an attorney. You're always going to end up better off with an attorney involved. Right? Because the Reddit shit is he said, she said, honestly. So it's whoever's attorney can... I've got the original photo. No, no, yeah, I know that. I'm telling, like, it being posted on Reddit would be a he said, she said without solid proof to a judge. I mean, somebody had to send it to me, but I've got the original photo. God, you don't have to pay for an attorney. I would absolutely pay for an attorney, to be honest. The state won't necessarily, I mean... Will they? Yeah. Will they take it as seriously as they will with an attorney? Probably not, to be honest. Am I echoing? Allie, can you watch that video that I sent you? Oh, yeah, I forgot about it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, well, Gabby went back in Danny's box. I was going to see what she was going to say. Hold on. Man, I wish I could like sue some How did Danny get my photo? She took it without consent. Unsolicited dick pics. That's illegal in the state of Texas. <laughs> what is? Dick pics? I wish, yeah, I wish somebody... Unsolicited dick pics. Unsolicited. <laughs> yeah. In the state of Texas. The problem with Gabby is she comes in screaming, blaring, off the hook. It doesn't... And she doesn't even know what's going on. Just listen. She didn't give nobody a chance to explain to her. I tried to explain to her that she's not the one that took my picture, so she's not the one I'm targeting. But you also oh, don't God. owe her an explanation. Like and it was driving me nuts. Didn't want to look all right, all right. Like time out, time out. Allie, watch the fucking video for crying out loud, would you? Oh my gosh, what is the video of? Just watch it. Oh my gosh, okay, but it's related to this? Yes. And why is that stupid? Fucking A. I don't have Reddit. I can't pull it up, stupid. You can have Reddit on fucking Google, bro. Oh, but know. some things, some things it says you have to have the app before you can look I at it. Exactly. I can't look at it. Can you like, um, let yeah. me screen record the video and then I'll send it to you that way. Okay. You're driving me nuts. I kind of thought that, right? I don't know. Goodbye. Yeah, while I'm in here, don't let neither one of them up. Please. No, I won't. I got you. I just, silly old me was like, oh, we can talk about this like mature adults. And then I forgot who we were dealing but with. But you're not looking at this. You're not looking at who you're talking to that about, no, though. I know. That's a, that I know. I don't and I, did, I, I would have never dreamed of saying that before. But true colors have come out. I mean, before the picture was even taken, like before I even knew anything about a picture being taken, uh, I got ghosted for days. I got supposedly, I got talked down on in the telegram when I wasn't even there. And I'm supposed to be this girl's best friend. You must send photos. Yeah. Yeah, it is hearsay. I was talking to somebody and they said that 
Because I was told the police definitely won't do that Danny no, showed it won't. to Gabby on like FaceTime. She forgave Danny and that she sent I them. thought they said on live, but I don't know. There's been so much said, I'm confused. Well, I think so. I think Gabby and Danny were on live when Danny sent it to Gabby and when Gabby saw it. Right? After, after this, after this, and the way she come on there, and I, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. This is something that I'm going to have to keep the car and go out and do tomorrow. I really like, Jenny, I really, really, really want to encourage you to do this for yourself. I think it'll give you a lot of peace. And also for people in the future that this could potentially cause harm to. Genuinely, like, I'm going to encourage you and anybody who would be faced in a situation like this, like, please, like, put this in the hands of the authorities, no matter how much you care about that person. Nobody's going to walk away free like that. The amount of unreported, like, SA things that happen, it's disgusting. Like, we've been held down too long, and so, like, do it. Own it. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know if I'll ever get any sleep. This is plum. Danny asked Anna to lie. Yeah, and I... Danny asked Anna... You were, exactly. She read it. Danny asked Anna to lie. What is what is so hard about that? I wish to God I would have recorded that phone call. If only I could have had another phone and recorded that phone call, I could have even better evidence of covering my butt. But who thinks when you're supposed to be best friends with somebody, who thinks to record, record a phone call? You don't. You no. don't. And you're not to blame for that whatsoever. You, you don't think that way whatsoever. I wouldn't think that way. I wouldn't get on the phone with Jordan or Ellie right now and be like, let me record their, their phone call, even with an extra device right here. You don't think that. What if it was me? And that's okay. And I don't want you to blame yourself for not thinking that way, because I don't think any of us would think that way. No. You're being really hard on yourself. And I understand it's so easy to do. We're our worst critics. I understand. And I know people have been ugly towards you. The people who support, you know, Gabby and Danny, of course, have been ugly to you and have blamed you when you're the victim in this situation. You may have not done all all by right, you know, by other people and stuff. But did you share somebody's nudes on the Internet? No, you sure didn't. No, and it's that thing when you talk about, yes, we flirted or whatever. Like, that's the thing that they, for... Either decades way. oh she wore a short skirt so then you feel guilty and you don't you don't tell and it's just wrong i mean i always i always picked and i always played i never meant anything but if i can't pick and play like on this app like i can in my in my home life then why have it i want to be on the app like i can act at home my whole family is a sarcastic picking bunch of people we joke that's that's how my whole entire family is but let me respond to this comment real quick. Pics weren't sent anywhere. It was a screenshot accidentally exposed. I know, still not okay. The thing is, that screenshot should have never been taken because it was not consented to. That screenshot was not supposed to be taken. Anna did not know that Danny was taking that screenshot. It was taken without her permission. So it's not the fact that it accidentally got exposed. It's the fact that it was even taken in the first place. That's the issue at hand here. Yeah, do not, don't talk to Ellie. Don't talk to Ellie. That's fine. I don't want to support. I don't support somebody like that. I don't. I don't stand for that. I don't stand by somebody who does that. I would never do that. I don't agree with that whatsoever. Like Anna, I stand beside you, and I. Not a question. It's not a question of did did it happen and did Danny do it? Like she admitted it and said she did it. It's wrong. Nobody can can justify it or side with it. So I don't know why Gabby's all like, don't talk to Allie. You're not making judgments. It's just what happened. It's the facts of the case. I'm, I'm saying to report it. That's pretty much why I'm giving Anna my platform, which I'm totally okay doing. It's not an issue whatsoever to me. I, anybody can come up here at any time and share their story. I have no issue with that whatsoever. Check your but Okay, but not only that, I've heard videos of Anna saying that she I don't stand for that. I would never say, you know, keep quiet about that. Don't, don't shh. no matter how much I cared about somebody, somebody could come to me and be like, hey, your dad did this. And I'd be like, let's go report it right now. You know, like, I don't care who you are. Nobody deserves to get away with that. And now we're backtracking. I'm confused. 
I'm gonna report it for they're sure. taking they're taking this because why won't Danny tell them I called her off when I called her off the app when I asked her to talk to me off the app why don't Danny tell them that they that she wanted me to lie for her why ain't anybody saying that because that'll make her look bad and she can't do that we can't make ourselves look bad come on now you know I guess so <laughs> I, mean, I kind of I contemplated coming in here because it's super embarrassing, but I had sent a photo to somebody on this app and they sent it to somebody, oh. well, a few people, and um, it is a felony and they are facing charges right now. So you go to your police, they will go to their police in their whatever state they're in or whatever and they'll get the ball rolling and yeah then you don't have to really do anything so um they'll take their phone and look where all it was sent and that's what you need to do i don't have i don't know what my phone doesn't have everywhere it was sent well, no, no just, they'll take the, like the, cops, the authorities, they can, tra I mean, anything that is sent on your phone can be traced. Once it's deleted, whether it's images, whether it's text messages, whether it's phone calls, anything can be retrieved from whatever phone by authorities. Carly, I am proud of you for uh, reporting it, and I'm glad you're getting some justice. Yeah, and thank, thank you for you. coming up here and sharing that, because I know that that can't yeah, be. Yeah, thank you. Especially in front yeah. of hundreds of strangers on the internet. So thank you. Yeah. So if that's what you are wanting to do, I would definitely do it because it is very illegal. So yeah. <laughs> um, that's what I would do. Yeah, absolutely, Carly. I agree. Thank you. Yep. But I'm gonna drop down now. I just wanted to let you know that that's the. That's the route you should go, and that's how you do it. So, thank you, sweet Carly. Thank yeah, you, thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, and she could always, anything. she could always trash her. She could always destroy her other phone and go buy a new phone, and then we're screwed. It's okay. I'm there's you, still IP stuff that there's meta metadata. They call it. It's not anything that can be destroyed. Once it's there, it's there. Is my understanding yeah absolutely anything nothing you do on your phone or on the internet or on social media is private whatsoever nothing you search nothing you text nobody you call nothing is that still echoing bro why is she echoing so bad damn internet is forever absolutely gabby's phone a recorder and that's why it's echoing but not only that, Anna, you have so many people who would advocate for you. We're done, we're done. And there's so much proof as well. Reddit can be, you can absolutely use Reddit as a form of proof. It's got screenshots. And Reddit has all the information of, of IP information when things are posted and all of that stuff. And that can be subpoenaed. Like, it's, That's don't like, try to talk yourself no, out of it. It's there. This isn't going to be like clear cut, you know, you go to the DA's office and you, or you talk to the county clerk and you're like, hey, I want to press charges for this. And then it's, you know, one, two, three. It's not an easy process like that. That's why I think it's best for you to get an attorney that can handle this for you because they'll be the ones responsible to get all of the data, to deal with the law enforcement, everything so that you're not dealing with that. Especially if you've never been through a situation like this, you're not going to know where to go, what to do, how to do it. I sure should don't. Right. And you're the one who's already gone through the hard part. Like they're going to make it as easy on you as possible because you're the victim. Yeah, absolutely. No, because it wasn't, it wasn't, I don't have where she asked me to lie. It wasn't through text message. It was through like a phone call, like actual talk, talk. Like it wasn't text that's message. That's irrelevant too. That was really attorneys are not cheap, absolutely. But there are a lot of attorneys too that will work with you. There's payment plans. I know a lot of people on my platform would be more than willing to pitch in to help her get an attorney. I know I'd be willing to help. 
Um, I know that there's also like where you can pay after you win a case. Somebody said I should have recorded it. Shake my head. I, she was supposed to have been my best friend. What makes you think that I'm going to think to record the call? You wouldn't have. Don't don't feel like you should have done anything differently. It is what it is. Allie don't have a say in this. She has a man in prison. Facts. That means I know how the prison system works. I know how we can get her in trouble. Thank you. <laughs> you promise the DA will handle it, no doubt. I don't. I don't trust the, I, personally, like in the state of Texas, I would not trust to just hand, hand a situation over to the DA's office and think that they're going to handle it. I don't, I truly do not. Maybe that's just me. I don't trust anybody at all whatsoever. I'm not saying like she absolutely, like the only way to proceed with this case is by having an attorney. I'm saying that's the easiest. Again, I don't know. I, I really don't know Anna. I don't know much about her. I don't know her financial situations none of my business i don't care to know i'm just saying to make it less stressful for her it's going to be best to deal with an attorney and to make sure that you have all the proper evidence to go against danny as well Allie, i i don't mean to interrupt but rory says she accidentally came in the bathroom <laughs> Yeah, I've been trying to figure oh. out how to get out, and I don't oh, know how. Bad. Sorry, I got you. <laughs> my bad. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop out of here, um, because it's just so overwhelming for me. It is. It's a lot. Sorry. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. Um, I'm just gonna drop out of here, but I'm gonna tell everybody that I do appreciate the support. Yeah, well, um, th thank you for coming up here and i mean reach out to me anytime i do yeah you were you were talking i was listening you were talking and you were all confused you didn't know what was what you were trying to read the comments and i knew I, obviously firsthand yeah. so i was like i've got to tell this girl you know this is driving me insane she's not seeing it in the comments or nothing i got to get in here and tell this girl something yeah, I mean, so, she's telling me i'm friends with a predator and i'm over here like whoa wait a minute what But I really do hope, Anna, that you do, you know, as much as you may not want to, I really do hope that you take this to the next level. Well, whatever I choose to do, I'm keeping it off of here. Like, nobody's ever going to know anything. Yeah. No, and that, that's a good way to to do it, honestly. Kind of, yeah. I'm covering my mic. Is it better now? It's, you're good now. Oh, okay, I'm good now. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, like... I would recommend not really discussing it much more on here. I know we've discussed. Yeah, I don't. It's here. like when I go in my lives, I always make sure I tell them no questions, no talk about it, no nothing. You're gonna be blocked and muted. You're gonna be gone out of here. I'll even I'll cut the live off. You know, I, I I don't stand for it. And nobody in my chat. I'm on private, but nobody in my chat ever talks about it. Yeah, and that's good. That's how it should be. Um, I requested to give you a follow, though, if you want to accept that request. I know you follow me on here. Um, but, yeah, if you want to stay in contact or, you know, need you any assistance me. with proceedings. Yeah, it's, I think we're friends on here now. I'm not sure. Because uh, I, I clicked your name, but it's not saying nothing. It's saying subscribe. It's not saying follow. No, so you, you follow me already, and I click follow back, and it just says that I requested. So I think it'll be in your request, like, when you jump down. Okay, um, I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I mean, it's two o'clock in the morning my time. I've got to try to go to sleep. I've got yeah, to. Please do. I know easier said than done. This will eventually all fade away. I guarantee it. The picture will be nowhere yeah. around and nobody will talk about it anymore. They'll move on to a new topic. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that because yeah. as many, as many, as much drama as she stays in and she's always in conflict with somebody my issue is going to fade away and she's going to have another victim like that she, maybe not do what she did to me but i'm just saying another victim as in somebody that's going to believe in her line schemes internet drama changes fast <laughs> but we'll be thinking about you yeah all right i appreciate it i appreciate you let me in the box yeah no thanks for coming up here because i'm not used to being me. on this i'm not used to being on this side of the platform i'm used to being on her side of the platform i'm not used to being on the part the, the platform i should have been listening to a long time ago 
No, you're fine. It's okay. Well, thanks. For if I would have listened to everybody a long time ago, <laughs> I wouldn't be in this mess. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. You want to see the good in people. I, I do. I, and I'm one of those people that's real soft hearted, real kind hearted. I always, I'm always afraid I'm going to make somebody mad at me, or I'm always afraid I'm going to make somebody not like me or, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm the type of person that you talk trash about me. I stand in the corner and cry. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm very soft. So yeah, that's just, that's how I am. That's how I've always been since I was little. That's what's got me ran over my whole life. Yeah, I understand. I feel like we've all been there and then we learn from that and then we're like, yeah, now we're going to be cold hearted bitches now. I used to be that yeah. one, believe it or not. <laughs> I, me too. I feel yeah. like now I can't trust nobody and you're just going to have to be cold. I mean, still respect people and still be nice to people, but you're going you're gonna to have to build that wall, girlfriend. Yeah. Because this is just, whew, I didn't know a person could be so demented. I mean, we're talking about issues in the brain. But I'll get off of here because I'm tired. I, I'm trying. I've got to try to go to sleep. I've laid here and tossed and turned. I've listened to rain. I've listened to fans. I've listened to stories. I can't. I I'm doing everything. Yeah. Would Benadryl help you or like z or NyQuil or like, um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to take oh, anything to go to sleep. I don't think it'll be enough to like harm you. You know what I mean? It's not going to like cause you to be draggy, but you do what's comfortable for you. Yeah. If you take like um, a minimal like um, Benadryl or something, like just one tablet of Benadryl. Like, We're going to oh. talk or cut that sucker in half and then maybe yeah. cut that yeah, in half or yeah. something. No, maybe, <laughs> I would just take like one of them and maybe cut it in half and try it that way. I wouldn't cut it less than that. I don't think it'll be very effective, but I think maybe if you just try that, I think it'll be okay. All right, girls. Well, thanks for having me up in the box and thanks for talking to me. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for coming up here. Bye, everybody. And Bye. you're beautiful and don't let you, anybody tell you any less. Well, that picture showing, or I look like the Mitchell man, okay? You know the tired man that looks like a marshmallow? That's what I looked like in that picture, the Mitchell man. Do you have, do you have a husband that loves you very much? Yes. Then that's all that fucking matters. I have a husband that like, I have a husband that likes bigger women. So, but I'm going to hop out of here, you guys. Th again, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Can you check on his intro on Snap for the love of fucking God? Bro, I didn't want to miss anything in the live. Stop yelling at me. I'm going.